Alright lads, so today we're going to be reviewing Team of the Season, Jorginho Wijnaldum, place a PSV in the Eredivisie, he's 5 foot 8 tall, right footed, got high medium work rate, a 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills. Looking at his in-games, he stands out to his 98 stamina, 93 dribbling, 93 jumping, 91 sprint speed and 91 agility. We have also included all the upgrades over his hero version as a comparison for you. So you can see each individual stat upgrade from all of his stats. So you can always pause it for a close look at any of them. So this is the team we used team of the season, Wijnaldum in. A 4-2-3-1 Eri Divisity team with Wijnaldum at Cam. So now onto the gameplay, so you can see how he was performing for us. Now, Team of the Season Wine Adams card does have some really nice looking stats. 89 pace, 92 dribbling and 84 shooting on card. And in game, does feel nice and pacey. Does have superb dribbling and agility on him as well, which really does help him slice through those defences. Does have his four star skills to help him out in that department as well. And he was so, so good on the ball. Really was an enjoyable player to use. Really good dribbling through the defences with Wine Adams. And obviously that dribbling is going to be opening up a lot of opportunities for you. Whether it be a passing opportunity teammates or a shooting opportunity. They did come fast and furious with Wijnaldum. And he did not disappoint us in the goal scoring department. Does have 86 finishing and 87 shot power. And he was banging in the goals from camp. Now his finishing outside of the box is pretty decent. Does only have 77 long shots. But he still can crack some shots in from outside of the box. Maybe not too far out, but I'd say anything about 10 to 15 yards outside of the box. He should be able to get him home for you. And he is even better inside of the box. Did also grab this nice cheeky flur finish, slotting it past Tim Howard. So he is going to be able to get you those finishes in the box. And he can get them flur finishes if you're feeling frisky as well. So great finisher in the box with his 86 finishing. And he was good on free kicks as well. Did bang him on this free kick, 33 yards out and just play. Places it past Manuel Neuer, straight into the top corner, straight into the back of the net. So can beat some of the best keepers in the game with his shooting. Good for your set pieces as well. Bang him on your corners and your free kicks if you're lacking a set piece taker. Now he does have 98 stamina as well, so he can run all day long. Great if you love holding sprint. Great if that sprint button's permanently glued down. And he does have high medium work rates and 89 attack positioning. So he will be making some great attacking runs for you. Was really, really solid in the passing department as well really can't complain passing wise was good so he can turn a bit of a creator as well uh, can do a job in the centre midfield role his stats are fairly well rounded but I would say Cam is my preferred position for Wine Album. I do think it is his best position in my opinion so let's have a look at Team of Season Wijnaldum's performance stats for you. So in six games, he did manage to bag nine goals and get two assists. All of his stats are on the left. The goals are on the right. The position map bottom right does show you where his goals were scored and his assists were created as well. So overall, we're going to give Team of the Season and Wijnaldum an amazing 9.5 out of 10. I absolutely really, really love using uh, Wijnaldum, especially with that superb dribbling. That 91 agility makes him feel really fast, really quick changes of direction on him. Really great for getting through the defences. And of course, he's got his four-star skills to go with that as well. Now, his stats are pretty well-rounded, as we said. Only his defensive stats are lacking slightly, but he does have good interceptions, so he can cope as a centre midfield as he comes out of the packs. But I do recommend him as a cam, even can work as a centre forward in a false nine. If you don't fancy team of the season, uh, the young up front, you can always go for a false nine and bang Wine Aldum in between uh, Depay and uh, Narsing in uh, an Henry Divisi side. Quality, quality midfielder who can bang in the goals for you as well. So finally, it was going to leave you team of the season Wine Aldum's positives and negatives to look at. Now, his price ranges are 60 to 115k on PlayStation, 75 to 125 on Xbox. Is a bit pricey in my opinion, but it is highly recommended. He is really worth it, especially if you can get him for closer to the lower end of his price ranges. Really is a must have in an area divisive side or even in a Netherlands team as well. So hopefully you did enjoy this review. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. We're trying to grow as much as we can. We try to do the most in-depth reviews and squad builders on YouTube. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. Loads more to check out on there and loads more to come. Stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching, lads. Do appreciate it. Cheers, lads. See you later.